All right. So the first article we have for you today, home sales rose for the second straight month in July as demand outpaced slightly stronger supply. So we did see a rise in the number of homes available for sale. We are seeing um, you know, builders trying to build more, which we have a new story on that in a little bit, but home sales are up. And we've been saying for a long time, if, if only we could get a little more supply, we should see more sales close. But the primary reason why we weren't seeing more sales close is because people couldn't find what they wanted to buy. So sales of existing homes in July rose 2% from June to a seasonally adjusted annualized rate of 5.99 million units. That's according to the National Association of Realtors. Uh, these sales figures are based on closings, so they reflect contracts signed in May and June. Sales were 1.5% higher in July 2020. That's the second straight month of gains after a pullback in the spring. And remember July of 2020, it was taking off like crazy. I mean, there was it was like a rocket. Uh, sales are likely improving due to rising supply. Yeah, that's what we've been talking about. The inventory of homes at the end of July stood at 1.32 million, down 12% from a year ago. Uh, the median price of existing homes sold was 17.8% higher compared with July of 2020. Let me read that. <laughs> Let me read that again. The median price of existing homes sold in July was 17.8% higher than July of 2020. Than a year ago. Right. Now, that's almost a 20% increase. And if you recall, people like uh, Grant Cardone, Susie Warman last year were saying we were going to see a world market crash in which homes would be 60 to 70% lower than they were currently valued about this time last year. Yeah, the specific example from her, I think it was what, June of 2020 that, uh, yeah. Suze, that Susie posted. And she specifically said, you buy a house for 300, your neighbor's house all of a sudden, because foreclosure, foreclosure or the crash yeah. becomes uh worth 150 now your house is 150 it's clear as day there's no she she's not hinting at anything she says it will crash do not buy a house until what what was it september october mm -hmm. november yeah. so from the time she posted uh, uh posted that a year ago year and two months ago whatever it was people have gained nearly 20 percent equity right now i have to put a disclaimer Please, out there Susie. because Susie's going to say, well, that number is skewed by the types of homes currently selling. I know she'll say that because that's what the next sentence is in the article. So that number is skewed currently by the types of homes selling. It says, and the market is much more active on the higher end. Wait a minute. The market is much more active on the higher end. Wasn't it like two weeks ago where we shared these numbers? Or maybe it was three weeks ago. And we said the market was more active on the lower one third because they finally found some inventory. More inventory, yeah. So some, some might say that is an ebb and flow in the supply and demand of the market where people are selling a lower end home. They finally get it under contract. Now they're moving up. <clears throat> huh. Now, now here's a quote. The housing sector appears to be settling down, said Lawrence Yoon, chief economist for the real tours. Uh, the market is less intensely heated as it was before. I would agree Which with is, that. Yeah. We, we've been talking about that for the last couple of months. Yeah. Yeah. It is less intense, but it's still cool to see that home sales are going up and that supply is going up. Was there anything else that you wanted to point out from that one? Uh, biggest one, because I'm competing with it quite a bit. I don't know if that's a thing there in uh, Arkansas, central Arkansas, by the way, is where Ray is or anywhere else in the country. But nearly a quarter of all buyers are using cash, which is also higher than normal. Because, And I found, I mean, it is interesting that more people are using cash. So people have been saving and saving and saving and saving. But where I'm really struggling is i'm getting beat down ca cash offers in that that luxury market over the 1.2 1.5 range that's where i'm really losing out on cash which is just insane to me so cash on the higher end as well then so it's not just cash in the low it's end. not yeah it's it's cash uh, i mean i'm seeing it everywhere uh, here in southern california but specifically in that higher end market over the million dollar range where i mean we lost out by over by a hundred grand and they even bid themselves up in their own offer by another three grand if anyone <laughs> beat them and i'm like you're already all cash a hundred grand higher than us that's too good yeah <laughs> and there's yeah, it's it's absolutely insane and it's just there's it's difficult because we're doing no appraisal contingency but when you have cash obviously there's no loan no appraisal but they it seems like and i'd love to see numbers on this you know now that it's been going on for a year or so 
is i mean if you if you went way over you know uh, a year ago you've gotten your equity back and more possibly if you went over by 10 percent. but now we're kind of at the tippy top and things are cooling i i would love to know the reasoning in these buyers head yeah. i would love to know uh jason bates he comments from youtube he says yet yeah, people still say there will be many foreclosures why would there be if everyone has equity to sell? hold that thought? Yes, let's hold that thought because we're going to circle back to that on some. We have some four burned numbers. <laughs> yes, we do.